So what I want to talk about a little bit and what hopefully we'll get to in the rest of this presentation is the band-aids. Like how do we stem these thousand cuts? How do we make sure that people aren't leaving the workplace? How do we make sure that, you know, what can we do as individuals to help make sure that people feel supported and people don't feel excluded and they want to stay? And one of the things that um, really was powerful for me to hear, and I, one, I, I hope um, not everybody has heard the story, but um, when Valerie Jarrett was at the White House, even at that level, people were talking over women, they were interrupting, they were not um, giving them credit for their ideas. And what Valerie and the other senior women in that team did was to make sure they supported each other. So when somebody got interrupted, they would say, oh, hold on a second, Valerie wasn't done speaking, let's hear the rest of what she has to say. Or you know, when somebody took credit for somebody's idea, they would say, oh, actually, Valerie said that earlier, and it's just a great idea um, both ways you say it. So the idea of supporting each other and helping to point out so hopefully people um, change their behavior because there's a little bit of accountability and there's a little bit of, oh, I didn't mean to do that, and kind of people starting to self-police themselves. Um, I think, you know, we've looked at a lot of companies and invested in a lot of companies that try to help with, like, lower status and hiring um, through technology. So um, between um, Frida and the rest of the team at k Capital, we've invested in maybe 12, mm -hmm. 12 companies, um, 12 startups that are really looking to change the face of hiring and compensation and all different areas of the work environment through technology and to try to eliminate bias as much as possible. So I want to make a link between Ellen's experience, um, and we often say that Kleiner won in court and Ellen won in the court of public opinion. Uh, and it's a very important thing to remember in this day and age of hashtag Me Too. I am working with the commission in Hollywood. I actually recommended that Anita Hill be hired as its chair. Um, and we see the bookends of history of Anita Hill and Ellen Powell. And we brought them together in conversation last spring. So what we find is what's happening to brands um, and all these headlines that people see. And as Ellen said, they are deterring the best and the brightest from what is becoming the majority in this country. So first of all, if you take women, that's half. If you take underrepresented people of color, those are the majority of kids in school now. So if you've got headlines like this, you are putting yourself out of the running as places that the best of the brightest want to work. Uh, we did at the Kapor Center a tech lever study uh, last spring, and it's available for free download on the web. Let me just go very quickly through the four key findings of unfairness or the thousand cuts, driving turnover, costing billions of dollars a year, those experiences being wildly different for different groups, and yet there are some DNI initiatives that can keep that wonderful person from going out the door. So the first one, unfairness in tech workplaces uh, drives turnover. Uh, so some form of unfairness was the most frequently cited reason for leaving, twice as often as being recruited away for a better job. Very important to understand what you're losing uh, there. Men of color were the most likely to leave due to unfair treatment. The experiences that everyone had differed dramatically across groups. Um, so you've got the majority of people who left experiencing unfair behavior or treatment. You've got one in 10 on an annual basis of women experiencing sexual harassment. Uh, and you've got 30% of women of color passed over for promotion. This is costly. We understand the cost to individuals. We also need to think about the cost to companies and the cost to society. 